All right, I got my uh, Bobcat 753 here. Last time I went to use it. The water pump belt right here. Started to squeal and smoking. And I'm pretty sure that pulley's locked up. So via Amazon, I got a replacement water pump and all. So it looks like I'm gonna be removing this bracket, the oil fill tube that comes down to here, and this um, relay box. It looks like my hydraulic oil filter housing or maybe it's just the o-ring on the filter itself is leaking i have another one you know to get to the top of the water pump there i'd rather not crack open the hydraulic system if i don't have to but if i got to i will so i'm going to start taking this small stuff off and work my way back on in there all right so we cleared some room here now Ugh. Cleared some room. I'm going to be taking, instead of take the water pump pulley off first, four bolts. I'm gonna get this coolant tank out of the way, which is kind of surprisingly empty. I did, I did check on it when it first got cold and put coolant in it. And the only time it ever registered hot at all was when the belt and the water pump started smoking. So hopefully this thing still has antifreeze in there. How's this thing mounted to here? It just slides right in there. I was just making way to get these four bolts off the pulley. There's the pulley. I can't turn that water pump. All right. This is in a bobcat. Oh, look. She's been crying. There's some wetness around the wheat there. I haven't noticed any coolant coming out of her. You look at something new when you go to work on something and it just looks like it's so, it just looks so daunting at first. You like take a look at it and you're like, man, that water pump is behind all that stuff and you gotta remove all that stuff. And I'm like looking at maybe it'd be easiest to attack it from above where the hydraulic is. I'm glad I stopped before I even turned the camera on. I took a few looks at it, you know? Like when it happened, I looked at it, I was like, oh, knew I had to put it on the calendar to get it done at some point. But I tell you, I wasn't really in a hurry, but now I'm at a point where I really need the machine. So if you want to get something done, and this is the tool you need to get it done, you're sure as heck gonna make the time and get it done. That's not too bad. Hmm. Nah, that's pretty bad. Alright, we're making a good mess. So here's what we got. Pumps off. Hey, she freed up. That sounds good, right? Oh, all I had to do is take the belt off and turn it the opposite way. That's good play, right? Man, oh man. Do you think they cheaped out on this? New one, old one. Look at the difference. Guess it is what it is, huh? So we'll clean that surface up. I'm gonna go for a little ride. I'm gonna need some coolant, some antifreeze. All right, so I got my non-super scraper, go razor blade jobber. I'm gonna clean this up. But luckily, I do feel like it's coming off pretty good. So I'm at the point, get this old gasket off, clean it and dry it off with some Brake cleaner. I think they used a little bit of uh, silicone gray or black to get this thing on here. I might check to see if there is a thermostat in it because to be honest with you, there's a temperature gauge up there. And to me, the little picture looked like oil. So I always assumed with it being a bobcat and I always assumed that the coolant gauge was actually for the hydraulic oil temperature or, you know, the hydrostatic drives and the attachments. When I use this unit, I have a backhoe. I have a bunch of different stuff. So I've really, I ran this thing wide open all day long. Never really seen that temperature gauge move for the exception of when this water pump locked up. So I'm still scraping along here and I thought I'd share a little bit of how I'm tackling these harder gaskets. I mean, it's as hard as a rock. I almost I'm just eating up at it. But one of the things that I found works for me to help degrade the gasket is I just last sprayed WD on it. And this is brake cleaner. And I've been alternating, so WD, soften it up a little bit. That was the brake cleaner. Hardest thing about this, of course, this is the location. Got lucky, there's not any gasket at the very bottom of the pump housing. It's all right here. I think the WD softens it up the best. WD-40 softens up the gasket and the brake cleaner 
really just cleans the surface. Let me see if I can get a little mechanical action in here. We really only have like an inch left on there. All right, so the new gasket's one of these metal guys with a raised edge. I decided to use a little gray RTV on the neck side because it's easy to take off and clean for my future self. The bottom remaining surface already cleaned up. So I'm just gonna slam this neck on here, unscrew in. Pretty sure I grabbed the wrong screws there. Good and tight. All right, I'm gonna get this uh, pump snaked in here now. All right, pulleys on, belts on. Time to start wrapping it up. Swap out this. I do a fluid filter now. It's a beast of a filter, though. 